Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut from the website techhut.us and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7 in a virtual machine using VM Virtual Box. So, I'm going to be doing this via a ISO file. You can do this with a disk if you have it. I'll show you how to do that as well. So, let's get right into it. First of all, you're going to want to click this new button right here. A dialog box will come up saying welcome to the new virtual machine wizard. Just going to hit next. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine Windows 7. And this will automatically do that for you. I'm going to hit next. Actually going to make this D lowercase. Next. I'm going to give it 2 gigs of RAM. So about that. Actually I'm going to give it 2.5. Next and I'm going to set it to create a new hard disk a new, another dialog box will come up hit next you're going to want a dynamically expanding storage, you can have fixed size storage if you want that one will take a while to curate so I'm going to hit next, 2 gigs is probably good next and then finish 20 gigs, well I went through that really quick I recommend using 20 gigs if you have enough space on your computer. I think the minimum is about 8 gigs that uh, can handle with Windows 7. So I'm going to hit finish and then there's Windows 7. Now the first thing you want to do before you start it up is hit settings and we're going to give it some more video memory. So go under system, go under processor and if you have more processor cores you can give it some more. I'm going to give it two. Alright, now under display I'm going to give it 128 megabytes of video memory and I'm going to enable 3D acceleration and everything else I'm going to keep the same for now I'm going to hit OK and then there you go. Now I'm going to start the virtual machine and then it will say welcome to the first run wizard. You're going to hit next and now you can hit your installation media. For this you can either select your host drive for your CD-ROM. So my CD-ROM is E, so if you had the Windows installation disk in your CD-ROM you would want to select E or whatever your uh, letter is for it. But if you're using an ISO file like me you're going to want to click this folder with the arrow, go to desktop or wherever you have your ISO file, I have mine right here. I hit open and then next and finish. And then the virtual box will open as if it were to be opening Windows on a computer. So now it says starting Windows. I'm not going to get into the basic installation of Windows, but you're basically going to just install Windows like you would on any other computer. Um, as you can see, I'll actually just show you the first couple of steps. Windows is starting. We're going to want to click into the virtual machine. So then I'm taking control of it. If you want to get out of the virtual machine, it is the left control button on your keyboard. Just like that. So I'm actually going to bring it into this video now. Just install it like you would any other Windows 7 installation. Thank you for watching. This has been a web, I mean a screencast tutorial from the website techhut.us. I thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Please visit my website. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, rate, comment, all that good stuff. Have a good day and goodbye.